Welcome to Guided Meditation with Carol Brown. This is a time for you, a time to recenter yourself and to not think about them petty ass bitches fucking shit up in your life. In some places they say that this is a safe place for you to relax and to let your mind wander as it is, but in Carol land this is a fuck off space because this is your time and everybody else can fuck off. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we are comfortable, whether it be in a chair, lay on a bed, or the floor. Go ahead and adjust and take the moment to feel how your body is against these surfaces. The floor, either pressing up against your back or the sensation of the chair. Take a moment to explore how that feels. And by being comfortable, we're going to start to relax. We're going to allow our bodies to feel heavy because they are heavy, because we're stressed the fuck out, but we're going to let them feel heavy, and we're going to breathe in, and we're going to exhale with a fuck that shit. Go ahead, breathe in, three, two, one, fuck that shit. And let's take a third cleansing breath to make sure that when we breathe in, we're feeling the chest and the diaphragm all the way, expand as far as it can go, hold it in. And exhale. Fuck that shit. Continue to breathe at a pace and capacity that is comfortable for you. As we move our awareness to our heads, let's take a moment to analyze our face. Is our jaw tense? I mean, you're a writer and you sit at a keyboard and you likely clench your jaw all the time. But let's go ahead and relax those jaws. Let's unfurl our brows. Relax the ears, the neck. Good. Breathe in. Fuck that shit. And as we take another breath, let's shift our awareness to our back. Take a moment to shift a little bit side to side. See if you can detect any knots or any tension and relax it. And if you can't, you should probably do some yoga after this, I'm just saying. And go ahead and take another deep breath. On our next breath, let's take a moment to focus on our stomachs. How does the core of your being feel? Are you hungry? You probably are, because all we do on my channel is talk about food, but that's okay, because when we're done here, you can go have a snack. Go ahead and breathe in. And fuck that shit. We'll move farther into our guided meditation by allowing our bodies to completely relax. We'll start with the head, allowing it to feel heavy. The shoulders chest and back. Let them sink into the ground under you or into the back of your chair, your stomach, your pelvis, legs, even your toes. Let them feel heavy. Let them sink into the ground. Breathe in. Fuck that shit. Breathe in and hold on to that breath. Relax your muscles totally, allowing the breath to flow gently through your nose and your mouth. On your next inhale, focus on the sensation of the air moving between your nostrils through your throat. Focus on how it expands your lungs and diaphragm. And exhale. Fuck that shit. Imagine the air that you are breathing is taking all the toxicity out of it. And when you breathe it, breathe it like a fire-breathing dragon onto these fucking bitches in your life so that way they fry and never bother you again. Breathe in, and drag and fire out. Breathe in, and drag and fire out. Relax for a few moments after frying your enemies into ash, and imagine yourself floating, or maybe surrounded by puppies. I would rather be surrounded by puppies. Imagine yourself surrounded by puppies with their fluffy fur and their happy faces, and how much they just want to be your friend. Yes, relax. We'll take a few moments to stay in this peaceful place. Focus on your breathing. Remember, breathe in. Fuck that shit.
And now it is time to bring our awareness back. Or if you want to take a nap, that's okay too. Take a moment to do another full body scan. How does your body feel now? Is it relaxed? And if not, ice cream can probably make it better. We'll shift our awareness to the world around us, how the air feels against our skin, our eyes are moving under our eyelids. Take another breath, let it out, and slowly open your eyes, and welcome back. Hopefully you are in a more relaxed state than you started when you came here, but if not, you can always go get some tacos because I've never met a situation where tacos didn't make it better. But that brings us to the end of our time together, and I wish you luck in going out and breathing dragon fire onto all the bitches that complicate your life. Be at peace, my friend. We're slaughtered.